hey guys so today we're doing a special type of video we're doing a skincare routine it's a nighttime skincare routine with eye unique products so i'm really excited because i love this brand but mm -mm, i didn't just say that that's a total spoiler for the video <laughs> So we're gonna see exactly six products of I Unique and we're gonna try them and do the skincare routine for nighttime together. Hey guys, I'm Laura. I'm your French skin educator. I post about skincare tips and knowledge on my YouTube channel. So if you like that, make sure to subscribe. And um, if you like me, um, you can follow me on IG and Twitter. It's your skin by Laura. You know, it's always the same. So as a disclaimer, you're gonna see a lot of eye unique products as I mentioned. But it's not a sponsored video which means i've not been paid to make this video it's not a paid content it's just that i received majority of these products through pr packages so basically i didn't pay for most of them so yeah but my opinion doesn't change regardless i'm just staying real to you okay i'm just telling you what it is so you don't tell me like whoa that's weird you only use i unique products like it's not even realistic well, I am right now at the moment, so it is my actual nighttime routine that I'm gonna show you. It's my current nighttime routine. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I just created a page on the website called Kofi, and basically it enables you to support me through a pimple patch. So let me explain real quick. So basically you donate a number of pimple patches. I had to set a price for the donation and you can donate like as many as you want. Of course, every single one of my pimple patches donated will be a blessing for me. But yeah, I wanted to set the price at the actual price of a pimple patch, which I calculated was 25 cents because I took the reference of the Cozyrex um, pimple patches, the, you know, the red acne ones that are basically the most popular pimple patches out there. So I divided like the price, I think that was like $6, I divided by 24 because there's 24 pimple patches and it was like 25 cents. So I was like, let me set the price of the donation to 25 cents. And you can't actually do that. You have to set the donation price at $1 minimum. So basically, if you want to support me and my channel, if you want to see me grow, if you want to see me doing content like this more often, or just make a living out of this, basically, because I'm still a student right now. And I'm going to actually have to get a job when I graduate for now, because I still don't make enough from YouTube to live off of it at all so yeah just wanted to let you know if you want to support that would be really awesome and the link is in the bio with that out of the way let's start the video i wanted to give you guys a glimpse of what is i unique if you guys don't know about this brand well it's a korean skincare brand and basically they focus on natural skincare ingredients and they call themselves minimalistic about skincare they have this minimalistic approach which i love so today we're gonna review six of their products and they basically sell 18 products in total so that means i'm reviewing a third of their products so i think it's a pretty accurate representation of the brand we have a cleansing oil a water-based cleanser two serums a moisturizer and then another type of product that's kind of ambiguous it says it's a serum but i consider it an oil i'm so excited let's start the first product which is the calendula complete cleansing oil and basically it's the only product that i actually paid <laughs> with my money so if you don't know what cleansing oils are these are really beneficial for all skin types and i'm telling you everything about them in the video that i made about cleansing oils and cleansing balms and i already featured this one in the video the link to this video is in the description box as well i've been actually using it for a while like it doesn't seem like it because <laughs> i just take one pump each time except if i really wear like heavy makeup which never happens <laughs> so let me actually oops um I, 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 I was gonna start it and wash my hands but i guess i'm doing this i guess i'm doing that i wanted to actually tie my hair up because i'm not starting nothing <laughs> with my hair down i don't know how people do this honestly like <laughs> I see YouTubers do their skincare routines normally with their hair down, like 
or even just a headband girl your hair is still gonna fall it's just not your hairline but it's still your hair like <laughs> anyways i just washed my hands and i'm gonna actually dry them and tie my hair up. i just tied my hair up i also went ahead and removed my earrings because it's gonna be a mess and you know hoops is a mess it's always a mess why am i showing you <laughs> everything <laughs> you don't need to know everything i'm a little bit of maniac so i think i'm gonna wash my hands again because i touched all these brushes in my hair so <laughs> i know you're gonna call me crazy in the comments or not because nobody actually comments in my videos if you didn't know what a cleansing oil is as i mentioned i did a video about this but i'm gonna tell you a little bit this is what's gonna remove my makeup and this is what's gonna remove the sebum all the oily products that are on my face and especially the sunscreen that i have because it's a really heavy one the current sunscreen that i have is really a joke for real like the white cast is so bad that i had to make a reel about it it's my most popular reel because it is just so ironical This helps me remove it every day. <laughs> I actually don't wear as much as in my reel because I would just look terrible every day. I don't have time to wear makeup to the point where I would cover all this sunscreen. Like it would be tragic and I would just feel like trapped in makeup. But I actually have to wear less sunscreen than I need. So anyway, girl, I love this cleansing oil. It's very liquidy, like... You know, so I just use a pump. We're gonna see if it's comfortable enough because I'm wearing makeup. So today is a special day. But, you know, it's very liquidy and it's very lightweight. It really glides so well on your skin. You can't start with a wet face or wet hands. You actually just have to have your hands clean and that's it. That's the first step of your skincare routine. And trust me, it's gonna do everything. It removes like the makeup, the sebum, everything so easily. Just look how my eyebrows are already gone. <laughs> I basically start with my with my eyes pretty quickly because it needs more oil than the rest of the face because I have mascara on damn I'm looking crazy already <laughs> if you guys ever have a white cast from any sunscreen don't worry you can actually remove it because I know a lot of people don't know how to remove this a lot of them are water resistant you can't remove them with water it's gonna it's not gonna leave it's not so you actually need a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm and it removes it's so easily everywhere that you put your sunscreen boo you need to remove it you need a cleansing oil in that hair so since i put my sunscreen all the way to my neck i need to use my cleansing oil here and then my cleanser as well or I forgot to mention you need to actually cleanse your face for 60 seconds and i think it's been longer than that so i'm gonna rinse it out rinsing off the neck is always so messy like ugh. <laughs> I was saying that this cleansing oil is really luxurious and the quality of the ingredients is amazing like the first ingredient is sunflower seed oil which is pretty rare and at such a concentration it's really good for a cleansing oil like a few cleansing oils have that amazing of an oil as their first ingredient then it has canola oil which is a type of rapeseed oil it also has calendula flower extract jojoba oil and macadamia oil just amazing but there's one fragrance ingredient and i had to mention it to you because i know like it's something that a lot of people watch out for myself first and it's the elang lang flower oil so it's basically an essential oil i try to avoid fragrance including essential oils in every skincare products but honestly in wash off treatments it's really rare to find a good cleanser or cleansing oil that does not have any fragrance ingredient so i'm really tolerant with this because anyways you're gonna leave it on your skin for not longer than 60 seconds and it's out like it's it doesn't have time to penetrate in your skin or anything so it's not gonna sensitize your skin at all especially if it's the only two products that contain fragrance in your routine like you're really good and the smell is really not empowering at all like <laughs> okay <laughs> It really doesn't sting your eyes or doesn't burn your skin. Yeah, I can barely smell it. It smells like oil, actually. 
it's it's very safe this oil is made of a four 94% pure plant oil and it's for all skin types and I really agree with that everyone needs a cleansing oil out there now moving on to the cleanser the actual water-based cleanser and it's this one Centella bubble cleansing foam I have clean hands still oh I actually need to wet my face first so this one is interesting because it's a foam right and you might have been told that foaming cleansers are not good i just take one pump because it's way enough for your face and actually it is kind of true to an extent because most of the foaming cleansers use harsh cleansing agents like sls sodium lauryl sulfate but this one doesn't have it it has very gentle cleansing agents it does not dry my skin at all like i've actually did this cleanser test that i mentioned in my last video yeah it didn't feel stripped at all like it was really comfortable i wouldn't say i felt moisturized because obviously i just cleanse my face you know but i felt clean and not stripped not dry you know nothing so it really is a gentle cleanser and it's good for sensitive skin so that's good because i have sensitive skin it's really good for all skin types again i love the ingredient list of this product and i think i cleansed my face longer than 60 seconds again <laughs> i'm just talking too much i need to rinse everywhere the cleansing oil went the cleanser must go because you don't want any residue of cleansing oil you don't want to break out <laughs> it's so messy all right so i'm gonna just let it air dry like i really love the ingredient list of this cleanser like most cleansers are just very basic they didn't have to make it that fancy the ingredients are just like so luxurious again so researched first ingredient is centella asiatica leaf water it's an amazing ingredient for soothing the skin and calming redness and it's concentrated at 69 percent it's before water there's other beautiful ingredients like tea tree leaf water i know i said i don't like tea tree but i don't like tea tree oil and tea tree extract but here it's water so it's really not concentrated it's really not going to sensitize your skin whatsoever and it's really good for acne prone skins and oily skin there's also rice bran extract licorice root extract which are both really good for brightening the skin and any acne scars you might have there's amazing plant ingredients like chamomile oil rooibos extract yucca extract mirror extract people just expect cleansers to cleanse their face they don't want it to be that fancy but i want it to be that fancy i like it you're gonna make me used to that that's really my take from i unique as a brand they're not playing with this and also i just want to point out that there is a fragrance ingredient once again but it's i would say it's the tea tree lift water like i can't really i know it smells something you know it smells tea tree basically it's just the tea tree water so you know i think it's just because it's pretty high up on the list so it smells as i mentioned anyway fragrance in a wash of treatment is really not that big of a deal especially if it's not even undisclosed fragrance you know when they state like parfum fragrance they don't even tell you what it is it could be a blend of 150 different fragrance ingredients but here i guess it's just the tea tree water so it's really nothing special nothing too dangerous oh and last thing about this cleanser is that it contains glycerin oh, look how my skin is already dry like i'm trying to not use these paper tissues you see here because i don't want to create too much waste for the planet so i'm just trying to like air dry my skin as much as i can so yeah i was saying it contains glycerin so it helps it not being stripping just helps it being comfortable since our skin is all clean and dry now we can move on to the serums i just want to say first i love how these come in a glass packaging and they're like jumbo size compared to other brands they're eco-friendly you know i love glass packaging so since it's my nighttime routine i'm focusing more on hydration and almost like anti-aging but i'm 22 so i don't want to say it's anti-aging because it would just be ridiculous but i'm starting it young you know i actually have some wrinkles already <laughs> i'm gonna start with 
I mean, I'm gonna use this one, the Black Snare Restore Serum. And this one I use in the morning. This serum is very thick. It's because it has black snail mucin as the first ingredient and it's concentrated at 70%. But it really sinks into your skin and absorbs like very quickly and it's so lightweight. Look how thick it is and gooey. <laughs> Anyways, the only approach that I kind of have to make to Eye Unique is that their serum kind of like absorbs so fast that I can barely feel them. Most people don't want to feel that they have something on their skin, but I'm the type of people that actually likes it. Like I like seeing myself like glow and hydrated and you know, I would like to feel it a little bit more. Again, the ingredient list never disappoints. I'm actually gonna try and talk and use it. <laughs> So I use around six drops all the time with every serum that I use, especially I unique ones. Cause as I mentioned, I want to feel them. <laughs> Look how like gooey it looks. But anyways, I was saying that the ingredient list is just wonderful. Like just having snail mucin concentrated at 70% is already something I would buy. But having amazing ingredients on top of that, you can't do nothing but stand and buy. <laughs> oh, I really can't talk and do things at the same time. But look how like, it sinks so quickly. I think I need more than six drops because I barely have anything for my neck. After the snail mucin, there's Santilla Asiatica again. There's glycerin, there's niacinamide, which is an amazing ingredient that does many things. There's hyaluronic acid, which hydrates the skin just like glycerin. There's some ferments and there's the amazing plant extracts that I mentioned in the cleanser, also in this serum. Also, there's five black superfood ingredients. There's black rice, sesame, kelp, coffee, eggplant. And there's also rosehip oil, blueberry extract, mugwort extract, and ginkgo bilbo extract. Like it's just an amazing ingredient list, guys. Like I really think it's an amazing hydrating anti-aging serum and also it's brightening because of the niacinamide and the plant extracts. And it's also soothing because of the Centella Asiatica and all the other plant extracts. Like it's doing everything it needs to do. And there's no fragrance or dyes in this formula and I love this. In the morning I would use this. This one is the Tea Tree Relief Serum. It's a lighter serum like it's very liquidy. Just look the consistency. You know it's not as gooey at all actually. It's very liquidy. It's also soothing because it has 19.5% of Centella Asiatica and it's also anti-inflammatory and good for acne prone skins because it's concentrated at 67% of tea tree water. Surprisingly, this one does not smell at all like the tea tree, you know? and it doesn't have any fragrance ingredients. It absorbs very fast because as I said, it's very liquidy and it leaves a nice glow though. So now onto the moisturizer. We have the Black Snare Restore Cream. No, actually my actual nighttime routine has a step in between. I normally even do this before the serum, but I forgot. So I'm gonna do it now. It's not too late. So I basically just use either a retinol. I have a tretinol and cream that was prescribed to me by a dermatologist, or I use a BHA. And I have this one currently. So I'm gonna use it. And I do two pumps. It's the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid by Cosalex. I love the texture bricks. So gooey. But yeah, I need I need my active ingredient, like I need it. Either a retinol or an exfoliant, like an AHA or a BHA. And currently I'm doing BHA, which is good for this one, this little guest that was not invited. So yeah. And look how shiny, I mean not shiny, blowy it makes me look. 
but you're not ready for the glow from the moisturizer. Remember, I do this because it's nighttime. Chemical exfoliants and retinols are photosensitive, so if you wear them in the morning, you would actually have sun damage even if you're wearing sunscreen. Now, actually moving on to the moisturizer, which is the Black Snare Restore Cream. And I love this one, guys. I love it. I made a video about Propolis. Propolis skincare, and basically they're mostly Korean options too. So if you haven't watched the video yet, I recommend it to you guys. And it's gonna be in my description box below. But I basically said that my favorite moisturizer of all times was the Cosorex Propolis Light Cream because it leaves a glow that's just wonderful. And I love the texture that was very lightweight but so moisturizing at the same time. And ever since I tried this one, I was like, okay, this is a really close tie to the Propolis moisturizer. And I love it. So it doesn't have any fragrance once again. Like there's just this left right now and I'm so mad. You know, I started it at the same time as the other products. Like you can tell the other things are pretty, you know, they're still pretty full. And the moisturizer, I just, I guess I'm going ham. Like I just have this left. I'm sad. I don't want to, I'm scared. Like. <laughs> I don't want to finish it. It claims to improve skin elasticity, fade acne scars. Yeah, you see how I'm going ham? I'm, I'm using too much. <laughs> it also helps preventing wrinkles and reducing them if you already have some. It's also very nourishing. Like, it's just gorgeous. It's soothing the skin too. And I love it. <laughs> Actually, like, I take that back. It's my favorite moisturizer <laughs> because of the ingredient list that I'm going to tell you about. And, you know, the Propolis one from Cosarex doesn't have that beautiful of an ingredient list, honestly. And this one also brings a glow, like, beautiful. Like, the ingredient list is unbeatable. It's made of 58% snail mucin. Yeah. It's also made of 9.8% of their signature Centella Asiatica water. The ingredient list is pretty similar to the Black Snail Restore Serum that I mentioned. And because it's from the same line, I guess. But it has some more hydrating ingredients. So we have ingredients like jojoba oil, the Japanese camellia seed oil, shea butter, and fatty alcohols. It also has nice occlusive ingredients like beeswax. And it's got that double centella combo again. Just like in this one that I forgot to mention. But basically it has centella asiatica water and centella asiatica extract, which we love because that's double centella asiatica which there's never enough centella asiatica you're gonna love the texture like trust me it's just so pretty i look like i could go out right now <laughs> i'm just going to bed well actually it's not true i'm going to work out but I had to film the video, guys. I think I really love how this one moisturizes my skin because I have dry skin around my mouth and on my cheeks. I really need extra hydration. And this one is like okay for this part, but also fine for the oily part, you know? Like it doesn't make me break out. So it's just the perfect moisturizer for my combination skin. And finally, I use an oil. So typically I would use a rosehip oil, but here I'm using the Noni Light Oil serum if you don't know using an oil or an occlusive like petrolatum jelly on top of a moisturizer helps create a seal on your skin so it traps the moisture and all the good skincare ingredients that you just put on your skin so it doesn't leave your skin because throughout the night there's a process that's called transepidermal water loss and basically you lose water from your skin into the air and you don't want that you want to keep the moisture you want to keep the hydration in your skin so that's why you you can use an occlusive product and here it's an oil serum so it could go before my moisturizer because it's again it absorbs pretty quick like just as I said it's kind of like common trade for the eye unique serums but it still has some good rich oils in it so I just put it at the end of my routine I consider this as my oil so it claims to be very moisturizing and prevent and reduce wrinkles basically my skincare is just a good skincare routine if you have combination skin, if you want to prevent wrinkles, and if you have a sensitive skin, because a lot of these products 
have Centella Asiatica, so they all soothe my skin. And some of them treat my acne with anti-inflammatory plant extracts. So it's just the perfect skincare routine, especially for nighttime. Look at how, you know, it really looks like an oil. Even the color is like white. That was surprising though. I was expecting something. Oh, and for this one, I don't do six drops. <laughs> I just do four or three. So it has noni fruit. Basically, that's why it's named like that. It's the Morinda fruit and it's concentrated at 42%. Noni fruit gives elasticity and youth to the skin. And look how beautiful it looks. It also contains kale extract, blueberry extract, jojoba oil, macadamia seed oil, rosehip oil, argan oil, and olive oil. It's a really good blend of oils and plant extracts. That's just amazing. Like, it's really rare for an oil because it's a serum, but you know, you're gaining the best of both worlds. And it has all these nice plant extracts present in all of the iUnique products. But it's actually their natural preservative complex. Normally, like, brands just use normal preservative, but they created their own blend of plant extracts that actually serve as preservative in their skincare products. It's pretty bougie, if you feel me. There's also the old school glycerin and the glycerin derivatives that come with it to hydrate your skin really deeply. There's another noni fruit extract further down the list and it doesn't have any fragrance again. So guys, I'm in love with this routine. I'm in love with this brand. Like, just look how beautiful and glowing and healthy I look. I just love how they have everything, you know, except the sunscreen maybe and active ingredients like chemical exfoliants, retinol. And overall, I really love the brand. I would give it an eight out of 10, okay? Just because some of their products still have fragrance. I'm just not talking about only the cleansers, but also like some of their serums still have fragrance and some of their um, masks or other moisturizers so that's what I don't really like especially in products that you leave on yeah I would love to see like a total fragrance free line also because they don't have a sunscreen and they don't have active ingredients that you essentially need that was the only product that wasn't I unique tonight because I have to use an active ingredient you know and if it were the morning I would have shown you my vitamin C serum from Purito and my sunscreen the terrible sunscreen I know like it's a terrible one it leaves a terrible white cast but I'm gonna change it once I down it first I never recommend you guys to throw away a product so I actually have to do the same for me and I would never do it anyway so yeah an 8 out of 10 I think it's pretty fair grade right and let me know what you guys think about the brand if you want to try their products if you have tried their products already what you think about them what grade would you have given them oh and here's the french word of the day it's nuit nuit means night because we're doing the nighttime routine so and always don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, comment what I just asked you. And also follow me on IG and Twitter so we can all be friends and you can not miss anything. I hope you guys have a blessed week. I love you all. Bisous. So I know you don't got nothing planned right now, so I'm just gonna pop a video for you right here. You can click on here and watch this Propolis skincare products that I recommend that are also Korean skincare. If you like this video, I'm sure you're gonna love this one.